Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall, Northern California. It's 8, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on 9-11-2017. <clears throat> I want to share what the Holy Spirit has revealed to me in advance of what is to come so others can pray and be prepared for it. I woke up to this uh, comment on a video from February 2016 from someone named Minister Gale. This morning I asked my wife if this was her and she said no. So I want to, first of all, I want to thank Minister Gale for being obedient to uh, the Holy Spirit. And so she writes, Minister Paul, it is now 9-10-2017, which was yesterday when she commented, since you gave the watchman warning February 4, 2016. It was, it's called, and she's mentioning this video right here. And so we'll go to it. It's right here. See the picture, the thumbnail here? Again, this was recorded on February 4th, 2016. It's regarding Cuba and Florida. And it says, Watchman Morning, Cuba, Florida, Oregon, Maine, winds of war, winds of change. And what she is saying is that the winds are here. You know, like half of this prophecy has been fulfilled and she expects the other half, as do I. Here's the date and time. Here's her comment. So, February 4th, 2016. I'm just going to play some of this because the Holy Spirit seriously hit me hard when I listened to this back today. I mean, it's just, it's 100% accurate. But it was made last year. I don't know how far it'll let me go. I think I said, let me go back a little, I think I said it's Florida. Anybody recognize this area? It's, uh, it's in Florida. I don't know how far it'll let me go. Benevitos, Bienevitos, Vitos. How far it'll let me go into these hallways or... You know, if the video runs too long, uh, okay, Sarah, Sarah. Chickens seem to be a big part of... Look at all, I want you to notice all the Illuminati symbolism in this area. And uh, this area is without power right now as we speak on 9-11. There's, there's these eyeballs and there's the, these reverse horns and, and you'll see. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say something very stunning to me that has me, has me received another message that I'm going to share after this whatever this is. And then these two horns I thought were odd. The odd of these horns. But again, it could just be a cultural thing. Um, I haven't tried to see how far I can go outside of this. So now, let me show you how I kind of uh, ended up in this location. So I want to... Um, want to back out and I'm not quite sure how best to do that. I'm using the EDIS sure. site. Now watch this look. Did you catch We're that? Have to go back to the map. Emergency and Disaster Information Service. EDIS. And Hurricane Irma has went through Cuba. This video is about Cuba and Florida in the first half. And it says emergency and disaster and then I show Cuba. And so I was, I was looking at the RSOE and the Holy Spirit ha This is where Irma is at right now. I mean exactly where Irma is at. Watch. At me and uh, I know people can mock this easily. It's easy to mock. But um, in, the, in the going on four years I've done this, they've all proven to be true. So look, so look where I'm focusing on in this area. And I give God all the praise and glory, and I have more to say. 
this look like a face right here? It does. So what the Holy Spirit... So this was freaky. So what the Lord told me, this is a confirmation of this a storm uh, being man-made in regards to uh, it being intensified and stuff. So here's Cuba. So this is kind of like the chin. This is like the nose. And he's looking like he's breathing directly on Florida. Can anybody see this? Here's the top of his head. It comes down. Here's the nose. And here's the lip. And here's his chin. But listen to what the Holy Spirit... And I say, the Holy Spirit prompted me to say. It told me to sound the alarm that something is coming in in this direction. And something, I don't know, it can be anything. You know, we only know a part. But it's going to come in this way. Just like this. And it's going to affect this whole area. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming it's a storm, but you know what happens when we assume. You a can storm. even see the face here. You know, I did this with Hurricane Sandy in the same fashion uh, six months before it happened. So maybe it'll come from Look, Cuba. I don't know. Maybe it will come from Cuba. Okay, so it did. And now the thing is, they have more military and government officials in this area than anywhere in the United States. There's been looting. It's sad. There's been looting. There's flooding. This is not over with yet. Um, but... I want to take you a little further now, because I also mentioned Oregon and Maine. But when I mentioned Maine, I was surprised that I was talking about... I'll show you where this area is. Somehow I refined it. Only through God could you do this, I'm telling you. I refined it. It's the person that took the photo. And I dropped right down to it. An oh, Angel yeah. Marino, maybe that's the person. That's that impossible to do it. I grab the stick man and I drop it back down on the area. It's impossible to do outside so of God. Maybe we can kind of get some idea. See the beach and coast? Just pause it if you have to and go back. Look at that. See it? It's called An oh, Angel Marino. Maybe that's the person that took the I'm photo. I'm still interested in what this area is about because it's, it's like a Cuba flavor, but the, it's located in Florida and so then I go on to mention Maine first I mentioned the, the West Coast which I'm going to talk about next from west to east let, and so let me go back a little bit yeah the Holy Spirit said that the uh, the destruction is going to come from this area now, take from west to east take note of this area right here from west to east from west to and east and so these are areas um, and I even brought up a map from Bandon, Oregon. Uh, Bandon, Oregon has been mentioned in my spirit several times. Medford, down to Harbor, and uh, and I was in Medford. Here's this place. It's called White White Rock Resort. Everybody see that? First thing that the Holy Spirit is telling me, Pelican State Beach, is that this area is in danger of destruction. This area is in danger of destruction. This is continuing. Now remember, 50% of this has come to pass. And then I talk about Maine. But I show Maine as a battleship. But when you're, you know, when you're in tune with the Holy Spirit, Destruction uh, occurring I, I in February. See how. So I typed in destruction occurring in February into the world's history because uh, that's when I was making the video. That could be a bad thing that I get that date right. But people can make anything uh, a bad thing. Destruction occurring. In see, it's the battleship. Notice how Maine. I put the day for the year. U.S. battleship Maine explode. Is that Cuba? So in Cuba, the battleship Maine exploded in Havana Harbor. And now I'm talking about, remember, it's, it's, uh, it's winds of war, winds of change. And, and just a couple weeks ago, the Holy Spirit revealed to me the four winds. And now, and now this sister comes along and confirms it. And I wake up and my power goes out. The power went out here. It turns out a person hit a, a power pole or transformer or something because we heard a bunch of sirens and uh, I lost internet. But 
I just believe it's a sign. So, so, so let's talk about the second half of that warning. Knowing that God loved us enough to show this in advance and warned us, and people have been spared in Florida. Matter of fact, that area where I showed it going up, it, the path of it actually changed and started going more west. So now here's another video. It says, Prophetic Watchman Warning to America East and West Coast. Very detailed. It will happen. I'm talking about Trinidad Head, California, um, Obama. I'm talking about Earth Mantle. So this is January 13th of this year, 2017. Now listen to what I say, please, because I'm going to pull up Google Earth now and give the, the rest of the warning going forward. The spirit of prophecy from flowing correctly as it should. So I, I decrease right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. I decrease that the Holy Spirit of prophecy can increase in me to come forward and say what God is showing to his people in the name of Jesus in advance. A warning, a warning, a warning. West Coast, East Coast, watchmen warning, sound the alarm. Earthquake, West Coast. Calamity, I hear calamity. East Coast, calamity, calamity in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. So that prophecy came forward, and I'm looking at this area that I'm going to show you on Google Earth. Before we proceed, we're going to give God some glory here. The pinned comment I had made was uh, that people would be saved. Let me show you. We'll go by top. Was it on this one or that one? Right here. Thank you, Jesus. God will get the glory out of this. This is the pinned comment seven months ago, so please listen. The Lord Jesus Christ has promised that this video will turn people back to him and bring in new souls for such a time as this through proof and evidence of his mighty foreknowledge of events. I pray it is someone you know. Amen. So we are upon the second part now. Is that you? When you look at the, the keywords of this video I had made, now we're going to switch gears. You can see the coast right there in the thumbnail. And, it, and you can see the key words here, the five Fs. That was flooding, it was flooding, fighting, fuming, fires. I'd put tribulation. I'd put worst president ever, and I still stand by that. Earth mantle, I put Florida. Coming destruction. Government fakes alien invasion. That's what I saw coming through the through Florida was they, they were using this project blue Le blue beam to make people to deceive people into thinking that we're being invaded by aliens when really what was happening was the rapture. And they were going to blame it on aliens. Trinidad Head and uh, Obama, the Antichrist. And I put Donald Trump in there. I don't remember why I did that. But, uh, so that's this video, amen. Now in this video, and I just want to say this, there's a lot of... I went to a... Okay. And so I went to a specific uh, part. Everybody's okay, so here's Trinidad, and we're going to go there. What Obama had done, and let me see if I put a, a news article, is this is about monuments. This, this is amazing because this, in January of 2017, was about monuments and how Obama was renaming him, renaming monuments. And what I said was, well, I hope he doesn't come to California and rename a monument. But he did, and it was in that area I just showed you. He renamed a monument. Does people believe everything he did? And um, and what do we see happening this year? Monuments being torn down. This is this is the signs we look for in the timeline. Monuments being torn down. And I'm telling you, I'm going to say this for the second time now on this channel. Obama. Is gonna he's gonna cut forward 
and he's going to make some type of statement or something. And the thing is, I don't know exactly what that statement is, so I can't focus on that, but I do know he will. And it's going to be divisive, and it's going to be deceptive. Jesus said, take heed, no man deceives you. So let's go to the area I'm looking at in this video. And I'm going to tell you the next warning and something amazing that God showed me. So this right here is basically the area. Okay, that Obama renamed. And this here. And then uh, I basically want to show you where... I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Here's White Rock Resort, okay? That's from the that's from the first warning where 50% of it has already come to pass in about a year and a half and things have sped up. I want to show you where I've been shown. I've been given a specific area where this, this earthquake will strike. Specific, precise area. And it's going to come down down by here it's called the geysers and I've literally been discussing this for five years I kid you not and have not wavered on this the geysers Eureka County so remember so it's gonna strike somewhere where you see the top of this map Medford White Rock Resort that area basically uh, Obama was in down to here so let's just show you Rogue River did you see that Wait, that's not it that's Nevada well let's see where oh, that's Nevada that's kind of strange they have a geysers in Nevada too let's zoom out and see if that's in the the path of that, the path, oh shit, okay, so let's go to the geysers, everything happens for a reason, I believe, and it's California, right here, but there is a Eureka there, which is strange, okay, okay, remember this area up here of Oregon, we're already shown, and it's going to be, it's going to be in between this area. See the geysers right here. It's going to be in between this area. How do you know? Well, God doesn't give fifty percent prophecies. He never has. They're one hundred percent, and I serve Him. So up here, see this. Here's where Obama went and named a national monument. And now monuments are being torn down. And this is where, beginning in 2012, where God showed me it would happen. I actually traveled this whole coast here to warn people. I went all the way up to Oregon and pointed right at the ocean and warned them, just like I did on the East Coast. So let's zoom out here. So I give God all the glory and I ask God, you know, about these warnings and as to why. And he is speaking to me very clearly. And it's amazing that this sister was led to that video about Cuba and Florida. It's, it's amazingly accurate because of our obedience to God. When I, I found that comment that this was about people seeing these things in advance, seeing them fulfilled, knowing that that could never happen outside of a living Savior and people being saved and then they turn to him and they give their life to Jesus Christ. In closing, this is what the, the Holy Spirit has given me next. The Holy Spirit of God, the spirit of prophecy from Jesus Christ, he has told me the reason why I have shown you these small things is because I knew you would be faithful in these things. He said, but what is coming next is a major event that I'm going to give to you before it happens. And people are going to wonder in awe and amazement that you knew that. And they are going to give me the glory and they're going to turn my lives, turn their lives to me. 
So again, these, these are the exact words I heard for the West Coast. There's two events. Two events. One is an earthquake. I have not been shown what the, the second one was, but I have an idea. It's destruction and devastation to the West Coast. And I'm not saying when. I don't know when. It's 8.31 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on 9-11. God doesn't give me wins. And when man tries to add a, a wind, they go wrong. But this will happen. And my wife and I are making change in our, our lives because of it. Because we live right in here. You know, we live right in here. And, um, and the second part of this is to keep your eyes on what begins to come out of Obama's mouth. Because he was involved in the monuments and the monuments are being torn down. He was in, even in the key words that I used. And God has never lied. I pray if you're seeking Christ right now, you find him. I pray if you're, if you're seeking Jesus Christ to draw closer to him, you do so. In Jesus' mighty name, in his name only. For him be the glory forever and ever. God in the flesh walked on earth, was killed and rose again, was seen by angels, and sits, sits in heaven right now and is coming again. To be clear, that Jesus is whom I give these words. Through him, lest there be any doubt.